Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two concentric uh, circles with the center O. And as a result, we get this uh, green shaded uh, donut ring, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this uh, code AB is uh, tangent to this uh, small circle at point uh, C. Furthermore, the angle between this uh, radius uh, and this chord is 30 degrees and the area of this uh, green shader analysis is 23 pi centimeter square and now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, green shaded region which is also called analysis please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. So before we proceed any further, let me go over the analysis. This is just the area between two concentric uh, circles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And this is also called uh, ring, or sometimes we call it uh, donut. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and label the radius of this smaller circle as uh, lowercase uh, r. And the radius of this uh, big circle, I'm gonna represent it by uppercase uh, r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where r represents the radius. Then we are going to have the area of this uh, big circle as uh, pi times uh, uppercase r square, since the radius of this big circle is uh, uppercase r. And likewise, the area of this uh, smaller circle is going to be pi times uh, lowercase uh, r square since the area of this smaller circle is lowercase r and now let's go ahead and make an observation we can see that the area of this uh, green shaded uh, analysis uh, is equal to the area of uh, this uh, big circle minus the area of this uh, smaller circle as you can see in this uh, given equation so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so therefore the area of this green analysis is going to be pi r square minus uh, pi lowercase r square and we can see pi is in common so i can factor it out so therefore i can write this thing pi outside times uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase r square and we know that we have been given the area of this uh, green analysis as uh, 23 pi centimeter square so let me go ahead and write down uh, 23 pi so therefore we are going to compare these uh, two equations i'm going to equate them so therefore we can write uh, pi times uh, r square minus lowercase uh, r square equals to 23 times uh, pi now let's go ahead and divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi is gone. So therefore we ended up with uh, uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase r square equals to 23 since this pi and pi is gone as well. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And now let's recall the circumference of the circle. This is always equal to two pi r where r is the radius once again and just keep in your mind that the circumference is also called the perimeter of the circle so therefore the perimeter of this uh, big circle is going to become uh, 2 pi times uh, uppercase r and likewise the perimeter of this uh, small circle is going to become uh, 2 pi times lowercase r and now let's go ahead and make an observation we can see that the perimeter of this uh, green shaded analysis is equal to the perimeter of this uh, big circle plus the perimeter of this uh, small circle and as you can see we already figured out the perimeter of a big and small circle over here so i'm going to fill in the blanks over here in this equation so therefore the perimeter of this uh, green analysis is going to become uh, 2 pi uppercase r plus uh, 2 pi lowercase r and we can see 2 pi is in common so therefore let's go ahead and factor out uh, 2 pi outside so we ended up with uh, uppercase r plus uh, 
Roar case R. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number two. And here's our next step. We have drawn this perpendicular OC on this uh, chord AB as you can see in this uh, diagram. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram. So in our case, uh, this uh, AB is the tangent to this uh, smaller circle and this uh, OC is the radius of this smaller circle. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OCA and whose side lengths are uh, lowercase r and uh, uppercase r. And now let's recall the so cartois. We are interested in uh, sine of 30 degrees that is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. In our case, our opposite side is R and the hypotenuse is uppercase R. Therefore, according to this uh, so cartois, I can write uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees equal to opposite is uh, lowercase r divided by uppercase r. And now we can see that sine of 30 degrees is uh, 1 over 2. So therefore I can write this thing as 1 divided by 2 equal to lowercase r divided by uppercase r. Now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So if we cross multiply it's going to give us uppercase r equal to 2 times lowercase uh, r. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and put this uh, uppercase r equals to 2r value in this uh, equation uh, 1. And here's our equation 1. I'm going to replace this uppercase r by this uh, 2 times uh, lowercase r over here. So therefore our this equation is going to become 2 times r whole square minus uh, r square equals to 23. So 3r square equals to 23. Now let's divide both sides by 3. This is gone. So our r square value turns out to be 23 divided by 3. Let's undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both sides. So therefore our lowercase r value turns out to be square root of 23 divided by square root of uh, 3. And now let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator by multiplying uh, both sides by square root of 3 on the top and the bottom. And if we multiply the numerators, that's going to give us a square root of 23 times 3 is going to give us 69. And at the denominator, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to give us just 3. So thus our lowercase r value turns out to be square root of 69 divided by 3 centimeter. And now we know that uppercase r equals to 2 times the lowercase r as you can see in this uh, equation. We figured out the value of lowercase r as square root of 69 divided by 3. So I'm going to replace it over here. So therefore our uppercase r value is going to become 2 times uh, square root of uh, 69 divided by 3. Or this could be written as uppercase r equal to 2 times square root of 69 divided by 3. And here's our final step. And here's our equation 2. Let's go ahead and uh, substitute the value. So 2 pi outside times, let me replace uh, uppercase r by 2 times square root of 69 divided by 3 plus lowercase r is square root of 69 divided by 3. And now let's focus on inside this parentheses. And here I have copied it down and I simplified and turns out to be square root of 69. So therefore I'm going to replace this whole thing by square root of 69. Therefore I can write 2 times pi times square root of 69. So our perimeter turns out to be 2 pi times square root of 69 centimeter and that's approximately equal to 52.2 centimeter. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.